decision making was often more on gut instinct or static reports than on real time insights. So Power BI came on the scene and changed all that. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm Aaron Stark, and today we're throwing a party because Power BI is turning 10 years old. We'll reflect on the platform's growth and impact and explore how you can strengthen your data skills for the decade ahead. Joining me for this birthday episode are Stephanie Bruno, an independent Power BI and Fabric consultant and Microsoft Data Platform MVP, and Shannon Lindsay, Senior Program Manager on the Microsoft Fabric community team. My colleague, Heather Shook, is also joining the fund to talk to us all about Power BI skilling. Great to have you all here. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Um, now, Stephanie and Shannon, you've been working together since your early days in the analytics and at a nonprofit, and you've both been with Power BI since the beginning. Can you give us a quick refresher on what exactly Power BI is? Sure, Aaron, yeah. Power BI is Microsoft's business intelligence platform. It helps all kinds of organizations turn data into insights that they can then take action on. It's a part of Microsoft Fabric, which is a complete analytics solution that brings all of your data tools together. It's a unified data platform, so you've got your end-to-end -end analytics all under one roof. Yeah, exactly. Power BI lets you prep, model, and visualize your data, whether it's just a quick report for yourself or a couple colleagues to a company-wide analytics project. Um, and it connects with hundreds of data sources, so, so many data sources. It really meets you wherever your data is, whether that's in Excel or CSV files or Azure Databricks. Yeah, and one of the best parts, in my opinion, is that it's not just for traditional data professionals. Power BI really is for everyone. It makes it easy for users in an organization to build and consume reports and dashboards so that more people have access to the data that they need to make decisions that are truly data-driven. I, mean, I couldn't agree more. I think it's such a powerful shift when anyone can work with data, not only the ex experts. Now, let's rewind a little bit. Shannon, can you take us back to when Power BI first released in July of 2015? Super curious to know what that experience was like, given how much change has happened since then. Yeah, a lot has changed in the last decade. Um, when I first started working with Power BI, I was a public health professional working at a nonprofit with no formal data training. And we relied on a bunch of different tools. We worked in Excel and SharePoint, and we used a bunch of other third-party reporting tools. So when Power BI came on the scene in 2015, it was truly a revelation. Um, the real aha moment and where my deep love for Power BI came is when Stephanie showed me how to automate the manual work I was doing every single month for reporting. So it saved me so much time, and it truly changed the entire way that I work. Yeah, and I had a software development and a data background. So I was deep in these legacy reporting tools. I was doing so much with SSRS, which was really powerful, but it was also hard to scale and difficult for non-technical users to work with. Um, also back then, because you, know, you were relying on IT, you didn't really have that self-service, uh, decision-making was often more on gut instinct or static reports than on real-time insights. So Power BI came on the scene and changed all that. It brought people together around a shared and realistic goal of getting data into the right hands at the right time to drive better decisions and create a bigger impact. Now, 10 years later, it's used by over 6 million people in 375,000 organizations, including 97% of the Fortune 500. So this is pretty incredible growth. I mean, yeah, that growth is crazy to think about, especially considering how much the Power BI platform has evolved over the past decade. Shannon, would, how would you describe the way that Power BI has evolved, especially with its role now in the broader Microsoft data ecosystem? Yeah, Power BI has really come a long way. They make, they make updates every single month, so there are loads of changes, but I think the most influential is that Power BI is now a part of Microsoft Fabric. So it brings everything together in a unified analytics platform. And it really truly expanded what the tool can do at an enterprise level. Um, in the early days, we could do some of that. We could do BI, we could do data transformation, but we had to rely on other tools and systems. 
Now with Fabric, all of those capabilities are built right in, which makes it easier to manage the whole end-to-end -end data journey in one place. Um, Fabric also introduced deeper AI integration, opening the door to more intelligent and automated data experiences. Yeah, that's such a critical shift because we know that without high quality data, there's not really any effective AI. So organizations need a strong data foundation now more than ever. Stephanie, how do you see Power BI supporting that AI transformation? It's already playing a key role. Like Shannon said, Power BI evolves monthly. Uh, so it's evolving to help our data professionals build AI ready environments. I mean, right now with the click of a couple buttons, we can prepare our data in Power BI for AI. So it's really leading the way to creating smarter, more data-driven organizations. I mean, I couldn't agree more. It sounds like Power BI isn't just helping keep up, it's helping people stay ahead as well. And speaking of professionals, let's talk about careers. How has Power BI changed the game for people working in data? Power BI has transformed the careers of a lot of data professionals, including the two of us. Uh, we went from building reports to driving adoption to participating in our inclusive community and shaping data strategy as advocates for data first cultures. Uh, so if you're wondering if it's worth it to invest in these skills, I can tell you firsthand it absolutely is. Uh, Power BI can open doors to entirely new career paths as it has for me. And that's really inspiring to hear about how Power BI has played a part in shaping your careers. Okay, Heather, now that we have learned about and absorbed the nostalgia of Power BI, I want you to take us into the future of data skilling. How can people build their data skills and get prepared for the next 10 years ahead? That's a great question, Aaron. There's never been a better time to level up your Power BI skills. And one of the best ways to do that is with certifications. Certifications validate your expertise and show employers that you're ready to take on those real world data challenges. The best place to start is the PL300 Power BI Data Analyst Associate Certification. It's ideal if you want to build and deploy reports and work with data models and support business decision making with Power BI. If you're looking to go a little deeper, check out the DP600 Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate Certification. The DP600 covers Power BI within Microsoft Fabric and covers more advanced topics like analytics engineering and enterprise level reporting. Both of these certifications are available on Microsoft Learn and we'll add the links below. Those feel like great certification options for data professionals. What about any viewers or learners who might want to dive in and get deeper hands on right away? A couple of recommendations for you. I think the Power BI Dashboard in a Day workshop is a great place to start. It's free instructor led session that walks you through building your first Power BI dashboard from scratch, step by step. Or if you want to watch and learn, check out the more in depth reactor series on becoming a certified Power BI data analyst. This one is live and also on demand and helps you prepare for the PL300 certification. It covers everything from data prep to visualization and security best practices. So whether you're new to Power BI or leveling your skills up, it gives you the skills and confidence to pass the exam and grow your career. Those all sound super valuable. Beyond the certifications and courses you mentioned, are there any other additional resources that you might want to highlight for our viewers today? Absolutely, Erin. Definitely check out the Microsoft Fabric community. Here you're gonna find a lot of Power BI contests, events, and even vouchers for those certification exams. And if you're thinking about your career, check out the Fabric Community Hub. It breaks down different roles, offers job guidance, and includes interviews with industry professionals. The Career Hub can also help you understand the different role-based certifications that we have, like the difference between the Power BI Data Analyst and the Fabric Analytics Engineer. There's really something for everyone, so you can't go wrong. Stephanie, Shannon, and Heather, I appreciate you all joining me today. So thank you again, and wouldn't have wanted to celebrate Power BI with anyone else. For our viewers, you can find links to the resources we covered today in the description below. Remember to give us a comment, leave us a like, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.